Well, hello everybody. What the heck is this and how do you use it? We're gonna answer those questions today on Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindbergh and I'm an occupational therapist. Yeah! Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, please let me know in the comments below, how are you doing? Are you staying warm or what is going on? Are you all about the Chiefs? I know they're going to the Super, super Bowl, so in Kansas City, everyone is super excited right now. But yeah, just let me know. Today, we are talking about handheld bidets. And I have, uh, there's so many different kinds of handheld bidets. Um, I am holding one kind right now. This is a Brondell handheld bidet. Um, I actually, hello, Let's Bamboo. Um, I actually made a, a review video on YouTube. So if you go to my YouTube channel at Toilet Talk Me, um, you can go back a little bit and you should be able to see the review on this um, Brondell handheld bidet. And, oh, Adam, all about the food and I could care less who wins. Oh yeah, that's me too for the Super Bowl, FYI. I, and I'm about the commercials, but anyway, I'm getting off topic here. <laughs> But um, yeah, handheld bidets are such a great option for people. Um, they are, um, you hook up the water to the toilet. So I actually didn't hook it up to this toilet because there's no plumbing on this set. This isn't real, spoiler alert. So, but with uh, different kinds of handheld bidets, you should be able to hook them up. Sometimes you can, um, change the end so that you can hook them up to like a bathroom sink and screw it on and use it that way. Um, but this one would be right attached to the same clean water line that your current toilet is attached to right now. Um, I like handheld bidets because they're pretty inexpensive. They're around $30 or so. I think I spent around $30 for this one. I can't remember. Um, but they are a good inexpensive option to try to start using water when you are cleaning yourself up after going to the bathroom. And um, per the usual, I love to talk about the benefits of water. Water is so good to use on your bottom after going to the bathroom. It is gentle and effective at cleaning compared to using toilet paper or wet wipes. Um, when you wipe with toilet paper and wet wipes, um, often people wipe way too much because they don't feel thoroughly clean, they're wiping too hard, and that can cause skin irritation and even lead to infection and other problems like that. So I like to encourage people to think about using water, and this is kind of a nice option to go along that way. Um, Echo Box Memory Vault says, hello from Canada. Yes, staying warm. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Glad to hear you're staying warm. Um, so yes, with handheld bidets, I love to give them to people as options or, or talk about it with patients. I still work in um, a hospital um, and this is always a great inexpensive option for people. So let me show you how to work it. For this handheld bidet, it's uh, different than others. Um, it actually has these uh, little grips right here, fingerprints, so that it's a little bit easier to hold on and to grip. This is kind of like a chrome plated finish where it's metal, it's very easy to clean. Um, I would just clean it, I would just take a damp cloth and wipe it down after using it just to make sure that um, there's not any um, bacteria, unwanted bacteria on there, but should just take a damp cloth, wipe it off and be good to go. The sprayer is right here on this one. Um, I was going to show uh, the water spray, but because I decided not to hook it up to water supply, you can uh, see in my review video on YouTube how much, because the water spray intensity is actually surprisingly very, very strong. It's like a fire hose. You would probably get a water enema. It can really go up that high, everybody. And then for this one, the water intensity, the on and off switch is all right here. So if it's down like that, it means there's no water. And then you can easily adjust it and make the water intensity as high as you like. 
I like this one because you can pretty much set it and forget it. You don't have to um, keep holding on to the handle to keep the water going. So I really, really like that. Um, so let me go ahead and show you how it's positioned. I do like, I don't super love the angle on this one, but you'll, you'll see in just a moment. So here I have my handy dandy toilet. I'm gonna sit down here. So this would be plugged into uh, the toilet supply in the back. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the floor there. And so with the handheld bidet, you would have somebody sit tall on the toilet, you know, try to get your hips, knees, and ankles into 90 degree angles, whatever is convenient for you. And what you're gonna do is have your legs spread, slightly spread apart. And then you're going to take this and put it down in between your legs and aim where it needs to go. So in this case, I'm holding, um, gripping it like this. I'm sure that you could change up your grip if you wanted to, but I would hold it like this, um, going front to back. If I needed to go down more to get my bottom, I could do that, lean forward a little bit. Or if you just only wanted to get your bottom, you would scoot to the front of the toilet a little bit and then you would reach behind and spray your bottom behind. So um, pretty, pretty simple to use, self-explanatory. I think if you really wanted to, you could um, probably try to change up your grip, hold it like this. If you are somebody who has a weak grip, or you have pain holding on to things for a while and gripping, you could get what's called a universal cuff. It's kind of like a strap that goes around your hand and you could put, put it around your hand and around the handheld bidet to hold your hand in place. Um, I do wanna say that um, a good tip to note would be if you do have uh, this, this particular Brondell, it comes with a holder that can go on your toilet tank. So when you're finished using it, you wipe it down, you could put it back on your toilet tank, or here's my preference, if you have a wall next to your toilet, you would be able to install the holder on the wall. That way it's a little bit easier for you to reach. So let's say, um, let's say the, uh, the water thing was on the other side. Obviously it, it kind of works easier when the toilet is on the right side of the wall or, you know, that's how this toilet's set up anyway. But you would be able to pick it up off the wall and then uh, use it without having to twist your back versus having it installed on the toilet tank or the holder installed on the toilet tank and then you're having to turn and reach, twist to get it from there. So. That would save you some back pain. I do love this um, for patients who do have, maybe they had a surgery on their back, maybe they had hip surgery, maybe they had even shoulder surgery because this helps limit how much um, movement that you are doing as far as like twisting your back, bending forward. You're not having to do all the stuff that you normally need to do to wipe your bottom with toilet paper or wet wipes. The only thing with this is if you have somebody who really does not like cold water, this may be a little bit of, of something they don't want to use. Maybe they choose something different. The water from the toilet tank is cool. It's not cold, but that may feel uncomfortable for some people. That's why um, I recommend you could also plug it into the sink if you have a bathroom sink next to your toilet because you would have the option to make the water warm, lukewarm, not never hot, um, but lukewarm water to clean your bottom would feel very comfortable as well. And then uh, Let's Bamboo says, yeah, I had a toilet with one connected to the side of the toilet. It being on the wall would have been much better. Oh yeah, absolutely, I agree. Make things easier for yourself. I love to put things within reach. I don't wanna work harder than I have to, especially when I go to the bathroom multiple times a day. So yeah, putting this in a place that's easier for you to reach or a family member is really awesome. I will also point out some other benefits of having handheld bidets. They're really awesome if you are toilet training. So I um, have a toddler, 
Um, this would have, we, we didn't use this, we actually used a portable bidet, but this would be a really good option to help with toilet training, or if you have a little potty, um, if you're washing off potty training pants, all of this is really good to use the spray and get it into the toilet. If you are helping take care of somebody, you're a caregiver to somebody, and you have a bedside commode in the house, this is awesome to help clean out the bedside commode instead of like taking the bucket into the shower or to the bathroom or kitchen sink. Using this right next to the toilet is such an awesome, really easy breezy thing to have. And also you can use this in your cleaning. You can clean your toilets, you can clean um, your shower, whatever's in your bathroom, especially with the really, really high spray. It's almost like a power washer, so you better be careful with this. But I love handheld bidets. If you have a brand of handheld bidet that you like or that you've tried, please tell us in the comments below. I would love to hear your experience. And also your experience helps other people too, knowing which brands they should buy or which brands they shouldn't buy. So please let us know in the comments below. All right, I'm trying to make it short and sweet. I could talk to you guys all day about this, but I gave you a lot of information. If you do have any other questions, please let me know in the comments or you can direct message me. Um, next month in February, there will be more Toilet Talk Lives. I will not see you next Tuesday, the first Tuesday of the month, but I will see you the rest of the month. And if there's anything you'd like to see in particular, please let me know. I love seeing you guys. Please share this video if you learned something new. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and you take care now. Have a great day. Bye-bye.